Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome back to Flip Flop. All right, you saw the title, you know why you're here. We are back with more Choosing Beggars content, of course. Before we jump in, friendly reminder, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's totally free and really helps out. All right, let's get started. Hello, looking for a photographer to collaborate with me. I'm wanting to take photos of my models wearing swimwear for my up and coming brand. This is a collaboration, not paid work. So in return, you can keep any photos you take for your portfolio. I'd preferably like someone who has a studio space with a white backdrop. Comment on this post if you're interested. God, this is one of the ones I'd love to see the comments. Also, my heart goes out to all of you photographers out there. This must be so common to be paid in collaboration bucks or exposure bucks for your portfolio. So stay strong. In search of a needle in a haystack, <laughs> just kidding, someone to house it over the summer-ish in exchange for reduced rent. We have two dogs that need hiking every day, so looking for someone responsible, able to hike three to seven miles, and good with animals. We'll be home often, but need consistent care for the dogs. Male brought in and plants watered. Winston pictured below. The other is a hound dog. So we're certainly no stranger to grueling backbreaking labor in exchange for quote unquote reduced rent here but we've never seen hiking three to seven miles a day with two large seemingly large dogs that's a new one i'm looking for a gardener please bring your own tools at no extra charge take away all green waste at no extra charge i need lawn mowing and edges back in front all trees and shrubs pruned completely overgrown all garden beds weeded grass removed out of garden beds reddick fixed at no extra charge and don't even ask for fuel allowance must have insurance business registration abn white card national police clearance chainsaw whipper snipper blower high pressure hose mower trailer edger and pruner no access to backyard, so everything has to be chucked over the fence or fence panel removed. $25 per hour. What is this weird obsession with the at no extra charge thing? Like, the price is just factored on the job being done. You don't see a car mechanic being like, well, I use this wrench, so that's $10. No, it's because they can do the job. Like, you might as well just say, like, oh, I'm really trying to be cheap here. Like, don't try to charge me more. I don't know. That bugged me. Okay, looks like a house for rent ad. Let's see what this one's all about. $2,000 for a three bedroom, 1,800 square foot, lovely maroon smudge home for rent during summer months in maroon smudge. It's more of a wine red, I guess, but who's to say? We're looking for someone to rent our lovely house and foster parent our long-haired miniature dachshund, Charlie, in East Wine Red Smudge for approximately two months this summer from June 5th to August 12th. Our ideal renter is a responsible, single, couple or small family who will take scrupulous care of our home and who will enjoy looking after the chickens and quail, regular feeding and watering, and the garden watering and harvesting a little weeding when necessary. Well. Can't say I'm surprised, we've seen it before. So yeah, $2,000 to basically become a farmhand for two months and still pay that much for rent, so. Hello, Blue Smudge, I'm in search of a dog sitter. The hours are a bit weird, but the job is easy. Yeah, sure. I have a nine-year-old shepherd pit mix that has separation anxiety, making it hard to leave her alone while my husband and I are at work on campus. First, I need for the 31st of March, as well as the 8th of April, a responsible, friendly, trustworthy person to sit Reese's in our campus housing apartment from 6.45 p.m. to 3 a.m. Pay $20. I'll be sure that there are snacks and whatever, soda, juice, water, whatever you like to drink. We have Wi-Fi and Netflix, as well as a bunch of movies. You would need, take to, you would need to take Reese's for a short potty walk outside of the complex a few times, but that's all there is to it. We need a steady sitter with the same qualities on Thursdays from 6.45 p.m. to 1 a.m. Pay is $15 for Thursdays. Please massage me if interested. Much thanks, Yellow Smudge. P.S. I have two cats as well, so if allergic, this probably is not for you. $20, eight hours, $2.50 an hour. Free, just come dig them up. 
Two Nandinas and I believe three hedges. I don't know the name of the kind of hedge. All in our front yard so you can easily dig on your own. Please shake off as much dirt as you can from the roots and... Please bring planting soil with you to immediately backfill the holes left so that we don't break our ankles. Anytime is fine. Please be as careful as you can not to step on my perennial plants around these plants and in the yard. Only the two Nandinas and hedges alongside fence are for taking. Please take nothing else. Thanks. Right, right. So basically do my gardening that I don't really feel like doing in the disguise of free plants. Just say that. Okay, looks like a dating profile. Let's see what this gentleman has to offer. Listen, I'm gonna cut to the chase. I'm probably not what you're after. I'm just looking for someone intelligent to spoon and shoot the shit with. Maybe that sounds sketchy or needy or whatever, but that's about as open as I can be. No offense. For the record, no. I don't have a wife that hates me, or a girlfriend I'm cheating on or anything like that. I know that means 99% of the women on here are basically done reading, and I don't blame you, because you're probably after something more meaningful or long-lasting. I get that. If you're somehow crazy enough that this might appeal to you, then awesome. But I'm not holding my breath. If you want to read the best profile on here, you can keep going. You've been warned. Hey, so you've probably already looked at a bunch of other douchebag profiles, right? And this is the part where I'm supposed to impress you so that I stand out from the rest of them, right? I'm supposed to grab your attention by telling you how I'm into mountain climbing. I'm not. Or how I once saved an old lady from a burning car. I never have. Or how I can speak 14 different languages. I can't. Well, guess what? I'm not that interesting. If I was, they would have put me in beer commercials or something. Want to know what I can do? I can have an intelligent conversation with you and not mention my penis or your boobs. I know, I know, it's difficult, but I can do it. I can also spell, I can type in complete sentences, and I can even take pictures of myself with my shirt on. Oh, that's still not enough to impress yet? God, what a diva. Okay, fine, since you're still playing along, I'll tell you a little bit more. <clears throat> Here are some things I have. A job, a car, a college degree, my own bank account, all my teeth. Here are some things I don't have. A girlfriend or wife, a baby mama, a criminal record, a drug or alcohol problem. Yay! Sleeping in, mismatched bra and panties, burning hot showers, milk and cookies, walking around in underwear, accents. Nay! Wet bath towels, teenage pregnancy, anything country except reverse cowgirl, tobacco, slutty Halloween costumes, too much makeup, pet slash fur smell, pics of you boozing it up, pics of you skanking it up, pics of you flipping the bird, pics of you flipping the double bird, pics of little kids in your profile, pics of you after one of those stupid color runs or warrior dashes or tough mutters or whatever, your attempts at subtle but desperate shots of your cleavage, social media, no, goddammit, I don't want your Instagram, those fucking Snapchat filters, Slowing down at yellow lights, mushrooms, the word swag, the word foodie, pretty much anyone born between 1990 and 2000. Now doesn't that make me more unique than like 99% of the guys you've come across? Yes. Yes it does. Listen, I'm not for everybody. I'm not super attractive. I'm not ripped. I don't like going out and I'm not going to spend my entire bank account on a fancy handbag for you. I'm not your Prince Charming or your soulmate or whatever other stupid cliche you've heard before. We're not going to have a midnight passionate love affair, and we're not going to get married, and we might not even get lunch together, even though I could totally afford to buy. But if you can get past all that, then maybe we can kill some time together. Because even though I come off like a total dick, I'm actually a pretty nice guy. Maybe even too nice. Besides, if you're still reading, there's probably something wrong with you. And if there's probably something wrong with you, that means we'll probably get along. Now quit stalling and say hello, damn it. Okay, is this Shadow the Hedgehog's dating profile? I mean, you've basically compiled every edgelord cliche that you possibly can, aside from teleports behind you, nothing personnel kid. 
I will say this was pretty fun to read though. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I think we'll end it on that one though. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like or letting us know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you like these types of videos in general, again, consider subscribing. It really helps out. Thanks again for sticking around and we'll see you in the next one.